A kia ora koutou, he mihi poto tēnei ki a koutou e tautokana i a mātou te Pāti Māori i tēnei wā kua pahurake. Three years have passed and uh, we've had a, a term in confidence and supply. In other words, sitting at the table with opportunities to make a difference. And perhaps it's time to review the situation for you and let you know how it stands. Um, and perhaps we can look at the various parties because there is uh, quite a difference in our parties, the Māoris in there, great personalities, and most of our policies are very similar. So, you know, just know that all the Māori that are coming to Parliament have your interests in heart, and the parties and so on. But for the Māori Party, the strategy is quite different to the other parties, and that's what I'd like to explain to you now. So, in the first place, there's a party that's standing now. They want a non-compromising voice in Parliament where they can stick to their uh, policies and practices and uh, not have to blend in with any other party's wishes and so on. And that's great, it gets the voice out there. But at the end of the day, because they don't have friends to support them and because they're not prepared to look at a uh, compromise, uh, the, the value at the end of change is basically none except to make a noise and there's nothing wrong with the noise either. But in terms of real change, uh, it doesn't come. Other parties uh, have large caucuses, and their caucus policy is really set in stone. And so, for example, a large party like uh, National and Labour don't have a Māori policy, and so they rely on their Māoris to make uh, issues, bring issues up. But you see, it's still at the whim of the large party, and they can just squash it or whatever. So in some ways, compromise has happened even before it's out there as a bill uh, for everyone to discuss. So again, they're limited in what they can achieve by not having a Māori policy and not having mana and, uh, to carry it through. So which brings us to the Māori Party and we're really lucky because we're independent, we're authentic and we belong to you. So we don't have any big brother sitting on top of us telling us, no, that can't happen, that can't happen but rather we have our policy and we put it out there and see who will go with it and so on. So we're going to be back at the table. We're going to be back there in confidence and supply. And we're going to be making decisions that will get heard and be listened to because we're at the table. I mean, when we went into confidence and supply with the national government three years ago, we asked for certain things like a review of the Constitution, a review of the foreshore and seabed and so on. But despite those things in the agreement, our real gains came from just sitting at the table and asking and arguing. Fano Ora, $130 million. United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People and going to New York and ratifying that on behalf of all Māori. We did that at the table. Review of Māori language. Uh, development of an economic, Māori economic strategy. Tātai or how to teach Māori. Whare Oranga Ake, two institutions to keep our people out of prison. Mara Kai, 500 gardens. All these were negotiated, sitting at the table, putting our case. And that's where you make real gains. So we're hoping that, we'll be in that we will be in that situation this time, again, for another three years. And you can count on us to take your wishes your views to that table and put it down fair and square and again begin to get these gains for us. These are hard times. Remember we still got Christchurch to pay for. Remember the Europe is in a bad way um, with Greece, now Italy and who knows next. So there is real pressure on our economy here but we're determined to make sure that we've still got Bano order and fighting for a uh, higher a wage, a minimum wage to $16, GST on food, all those things still stand. But at the end of the day, if you're at the table, you can make change and we'll be at the table for you to make that change. So kia ora koutou. my fingers say two ticks for your candidate and also for the party vote, this time, because we are your party. Kia ora.